another vlog yeah so I've pretty much decided to vlog this weekend because a lot is happening so today is a Friday the 6th of December and it's D1 tonight and then knockout tomorrow it's gonna be a really jam-packed vlog I feel like I haven't vlogged in a really long time so I might be a little bit rusty I tried to vlog last week at Festival X and that just didn't like turn out well because I was just like too busy to even like pick up the camera but I'll give it a better shot this week yeah what I've done today is I've just had work I went and got my nails done so this is what they kind of look like so it's more of like a neon green ombre with some diamantes and like a flame kind of sticker as well but yeah it just um, goes with my outfit because I've got a green and black kind of theme going on got home and now i'm just gonna get ready for d1 so yeah i might just record me getting ready for today Gosh, this is really... okay so i'm literally like really stressed for tonight because so many interstate people are coming to d1 and i mean d1's already been super busy as it is with just the melbourne crowd so I can't even imagine how busy it's going to be this, I mean tonight. I really hope people get there early, like at 10, like pretty much before 11 because otherwise I'm scared they're not going to get in and it's such a waste if you're, you know, flying down from Sydney or like Adelaide or something and you've been looking forward to it. So yeah, I hope people come early. God, and my skin is so shit at the moment like I'm, I've got a huge breakout here I've had a few breakouts around my chin I've got a few here as well and it's just been pissing me off so bad it always comes up at the worst times but yeah what I'm doing is I've just got the ordinary glycolic toner this one's got 7% glycolic acid and I'm just doing that and I'm really focusing it on the blemishes just to hope that it goes down by tomorrow because tomorrow is the important day this one's massive oh my god yeah so if my my hands look really orange because I fake tan last night using loving tan but I promise it's like not that orange in real life so just ignore that please do a bit of eye cream it was really funny before at work because so I work in the city and I could see so many groups of like Sydney people just walking around and they're so easy to spot because you know the guys are all wearing like tracksuit pants with their bum bags. I don't know if this is like generalizing them but it was just really obvious that they were there for knockout. But yeah that was pretty funny. And then I'm just going to do the Laneige Waterbank Essence. I'm just gonna change the song. Oh my god. Okay. So I've just popped on some moisturizer now, and this is the La La Cream from Drunk Elephant. It's been one of my favorites recently. Really great for dry skin, and it just helps to smooth everything out. I also forgot to mention um, my nails are from D Nails. D Nails Bar. I'll link them below. Ask for Jimmy because he does an amazing job. This is my second time going to him, and yeah he absolutely freaking kills it he's so good and they're located in south yarra so if anyone's around that area highly recommend them for foundation i'm just going to be using the nars natural radiant longwear this is my favorite foundation for going out i'm mixing the shade barcelona with the shade aruba which gives a really nice kind of like warm 
almost like a really good like fake tan color just because I am fake tan at the moment I've pretty much done like three layers of fake tan oh my god wait I almost forgot to put on my primer why is this lighting so bad I've just turned on my lighting here so sorry if the lighting's changed a little bit I'm just going in with foundation now I like to do a brush first and then kind of blend out with a beauty blender Carving out my brows. The lighting's looking a little bit better. Today I'm just doing more of like a brown kind of cut crease, all matte. Um, I've been loving doing this look because it's like kind of like soft glam. And I'm using the Tarte, this is the In Bloom palette. And I'm just going to cut my crease now. So I'm just cutting it with the NARS Custard Concealer. This is a soft matte concealer which is like really good for um, cutting creases. And as you can tell, I love this one, which is why it's almost like run out. Give me a table for them. Are you serious? Them. Yeah, fuck that. Right, Hello. So we're outside of D1 right now. Yeah, oh Ow. shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm too excited. And guys, the line is It's crazy. Ridiculous. Switch the camera around. Yeah, okay, I need to show you guys. Holy moly. So, that's pretty much. Wait, hold on. Let me see if it's gonna focus. That's pretty much where the line starts. And then it wraps around all the way. And then it goes all the way down that street as well. And there's like cops like blocking the road. It's just hectic right now. <laughs> what do you have to say? Oh my god. Are you shook? Calm down and because yeah. this is gonna be the biggest night of our lives right now. This is bigger than grand opening, I reckon. I reckon. Yeah. Um, right, Sunny? Every single week has been bigger than grand opening. <laughs> <laughs> oh Damn. my god. This is crazy. a really heavy night last night and we pretty much all got fucked up like Dom got kicked out because <laughs> he was too drunk but yeah D1 last night was so crazy like it was the most packed I've ever seen it the line was stretching all the way down to Chapel Street as well yeah, so right now I've just already done my makeup and got my outfit there I've done more of a green eyeshadow look and 
I've just put some gems. Actually, they're like rhinestones in my eyes. And we're just going to Nathan's house now for pre's again. Everyone's running late, I think. Well, I think we're the latest. <laughs> I think some of the others are going to meet us at knockout. So, yeah, we're probably just going to drink at Nathan's and take some photos really quickly because it's already like 3.30 and we were supposed to be there literally like an hour ago. Code Black starts at 4 and we want to see them so we're probably either going to be a little bit late for that or be on time, we'll see. You excited, babe? Yep, we're really excited. <laughs> So hungover. Yeah, we're both freaking hungover as hell. I was like doing my makeup before and like drinking Hydrolyte and like eating two minute noodles that my mum made me. It was just tragic, honestly. <laughs> yeah, do, do the muzz. <laughs> you should do the muzz when they open the door. I drink. A bit shy right now, just need a drink and like, I'll be fine. That's why I got you. I got you, Paul. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Drop my car and look. Crash. So we're just walking into the festival now and we are so excited.
just want to hear the music. Put those hands up right now. Come on, come on, come on. You think the whole system fucking sucks. Everybody's working their fucking ass off during the week. Getting yeah, totally fucking stressed out. So, so what's wrong and what's right? right? I live for the weekend. We I live for hard styles. styles. We live, live for hard styles, baby. Now go on. Come on, let's go. Come on! 